Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to do a A-level question from paper 4, Feb March 2023, question 1. The question states that ADPLC uses a system of budgetary control. Its budgeted data for 2024 includes the following. January, February, March and April, we have sales which is $56,000 and $59,500, $61,200 and $59,200. Purchases are $28,600, $31,000, $33,000 and $34,000. Operating expenses are $24,200, $25,100, $26,100 and $25,900. Loan repayments are $8,000 in the month of Jan. And we have capital expenditures in Feb $4,800 and in March $7,600. The following information is also available. The bank balance on 1st January 2024 is expected to be $3,000 and the trade payables are expected to amount to $27,100 on that date. The company had agreed an overdraft limit of $2,000 with the bank. It had a policy for never exceeding that limit. The interest on any overdraft is paid in June and December. All sales are made for cash. Operating expenses are paid in the month in which they are incurred. All purchases are on credit. The company seeks to pay to its supplier in the month following purchases. When funds allow, when there are insufficient funds to pay all the suppliers in the month following purchases, the company pays the maximum possible and the balance is carried forward and given priority for payment in the next month. The loan repayment of 8000 includes the accrued loan interest. Capital expenditure is paid in the month in which they are incurred. In the abit of the question, we are asked to prepare the cash budget for each of the four months from January 2024 to April 2024. So we'll make the cash budget on monthly basis and do the changes wherever and whenever they are required. We'll start with January where we have receipts and receipts we have cash sales which is $56,000 and these are the only receipts so the total receipts will be $56,000. Then we have payments in which we have trade payables. It was mentioned that on 1st Jan we have a, a balance which we are bringing forward uh, on the 1st Jan which was mentioned as $27,100 and this will be our trade payables. Then we have the operating expenses which was given as $24,200 and the loan repayment which was given as $8,000. We don't have any capital expenditure. So when we total this up, that is $27,100 plus $24,200 plus $8,000, we get the total payments as $59,300. We have the receipts of $56,000 and the payments are $59,000. So from $56,000, if we subtract $59,300, we will have net payment of three thousand three hundred dollars this is due that is we have to pay and we will pay it from the bank balance which was given as on first of january the bank balance was three thousand dollars so we have brought forward this balance and hence we will pay it from this amount so once we pay three thousand we will be left with three hundred as our bank overdraft which will be carried forward now for the month of Feb, what we have is sales are 59500 and this is the only receipt. So these are the total receipts. Then for payments, we have trade payable. In trade payable, we will pay for the purchases which we made in Jan and that was $28,600. We have operating expenses which was $25,100 and we have capital expenditure of $4,800. So when we add our um, the payments, we get the total as $58,500. And we have receipts of $59,500. We have payments of $58,500. So we are still having $1,000 as our net receipts after the payments. And here the closing balance which was on the last day of Jan will be the opening balance for the first day of Feb. That is 1st Feb. Our opening balance for bank was an overdraft of $300. So we will pay this overdraft and we will be left with our bank balance as $700 at the end of Feb. In the month of March, we have sales as $61,200, which will be our total receipts. In total payments, we have trade payable, which is $31,000. Then we have the operating expenses as $26,100 and the capital expenditure as $7,600. So when we total this up, $31,000 plus $26,100 plus $7,600, we get the total payment as $64,700. Now, our receipts are $61,200. From there, if we subtract the payments, which is $64,700, we get the 
net payments which are due as $3,500. You see we have the balance which we will bring forward as $700 and these are the payments which are $3,500. So from $3,500 if we subtract $700 we will have a bank overdraft of $2,800 and we have a strict policy that our bank overdraft should not exceed $2,000. So to adjust that, that is to reduce this overdraft, what we are going to do, we are going to take this 2800 from there we subtract 2000, we will get $800 which is more which we as a overdraft. So now we have to adjust this. So how we are going to adjust this? It was mentioned that trade payable will be paid with the amount which is available. If there is no sufficient funds, this will be carried forward and paid as the first priority so now we are going to change the trade payable that is we have $31,000 as our trade payable in the month of March this will be reduced by $800 and we will have trade payable as $30,200 now our total payments will also be reduced by this $800 we have $64,700 from there we subtract $800 so our total payments now will be $63,900 Thus, our net payments will also change. So, from $3,500, we subtract $800. So, we'll have our net payment as $2,700. So, now from this, if we subtract this $700, we will have an overdraft of $2,000, which is according to our policy. And that is how we are going to do for the month of March. So now after adjustments, the sales will remain as it is, that is $61,200. The trade payable will change, however, it will be $30,200. And then the operating expenses will be same, $26,100. The capital expenditure will be same, $7,600. Then the total payments will change, it will be $63,900. And we will have net payments of $2,700. And then we will bring down this balance as $700 from FEM. And then we will have the balance carried forward, which will be our bank overdraft of $2,000. And now we are following the company policy. Next, we'll go for April, where we have sales as $59,200. The trade payable from March, it was $34,000 plus the $800, which was due. So it will be $34,800. The operating expenses is $25,900. And we don't have other expenses. So... The total payments is $60,700 and receipts $59,200 from there we subtract $60,700 we get the net payment as $1,500. We already have a balance of $2,000 as our overdraft and to this if we add this uh, $1,500 it will be $3,500 again this will be against the company policy so we have to make the adjustments. We have to make this that is net payments as zero so that we can have the uh, bank uh, overdraft as $2,000. So what we will do is we will subtract this $1,500 again from the trade payable. That is $34,800 minus $1,500. We will get $33,300. Then the total payments which is $60,700. Again we will subtract $1,500. We will get $59,200. Net payments we have to make it zero. So $1,500 minus $1,500 will be zero. Then we have the balance uh, carried forward that will be our bank overdraft now as we have reduced this 1500 we will have the limit of 2000 which we have to follow so now with the adjustment for april we will have 59200 as our sales the trade payable will change to 33300 dollars and the operating expenses will be 25900 dollars so now when we total it up it will be 59200 dollars so the receipts and the payments are equal so we'll have um, uh, zero as our uh, net receipts and payments we will have nothing because now the both are same so we'll have the balance which will be brought forward as two thousand dollars which is our overdraft and this will be carried forward as two thousand dollars so we will follow the company policy so with this we have completed the a bit of the question furthermore we have additional information which states that one of the director had made the suggestion that from first january 2024 the company should make half of its purchase in cash from some of the suppliers so as to receive a discount of 5%. The credit purchases would continue to be paid for in the month after the purchase or as soon as the funds are allowed. 
the overdraft limit and the bank policy on its overdraft would remain unchanged in the bit of the question we are asked to prepare a revised cash budget for each of the four months from january 2024 to april 2024 on the basis of the director's suggestion so we'll ca- first calculate half of the cash purchases so we'll take the purchases and we will make it half that is either we will multiply it with half or with 0.5 it will be one and the same thing and then we are going to pay only 95 percent as the five percent will be discount so 100 minus 5 will be 95 percent and then we will multiply it with 95 percent to find the cash purchases so in january we have uh, the purchases as twenty-eight thousand six hundred dollars then we will multiply it with 0.5 that is to make this half and then we will multiply it with the uh, cash which we are going to pay which will be 95 percent as 5 percent is discount so we will get the value as 13,585 in the same way we will proceed for feb we will take 31,000 times 0.5 times 0.95 which will be 14,725 and for march it will be 33,000 times 0.5 times 0.95 which will be 15,675 and for april it will be 34,000 times 0.5 times 0.95 which will be 16,150 dollars now let's make the cash budget for January to April. We'll start with the month of January where we have receipts. In receipts we have cash sales which is $56,000 and these are the total receipts. And then we have the payments. In payments we have cash purchases which we have calculated in our working notes as $13,585. Then we have the trade payables which was mentioned on 1st January it was $27,100. And we have the operating expenses which was given as $24,200. The loan repayments which are $8,000 and the capital expenditure we don't have any in the month of January. So when we total up all the payments we get the total payments as $72,885 and the net payments that is $56,000 minus $72,885 we get the net payments as $16,885 which is due to be paid. and when we subtract the opening bank balance which was given as three thousand dollars we get the closing bank balance as thirteen thousand eight hundred and eighty five dollars and we have a policy that we should limit our overdraft only to two thousand dollars this goes against our overdraft limit so we are going to adjust it again you see we can have a balance carried forward as two thousand dollars as overdraft based on our company policy and we already have the opening bank balance as three thousand dollars so our net payments can be three thousand plus two thousand that is five thousand dollars so if this is five thousand dollars then five thousand minus three thousand it will be two thousand dollars as our bank overdraft so this adjustment we have to do so for this what we have to do is we have to change this total payments which are seventy two thousand eight hundred and eighty five we have to change this because what we do is we take the receipts from there we subtract the total payments and we get the net payments so for this what we have to do is we have to change the total payments how do we change that we will take the receipts which are fifty six thousand dollars to this we add this five thousand dollars it will become sixty one thousand dollars so now our total payment should be sixty one thousand dollars to make the net payments as five thousand dollars so for this again what we have to do we have to change the trade payables so we have trade payables as twenty seven thousand one hundred dollars and this that is the change that is seventy two thousand eight hundred and eighty five from there we subtract the sixty one thousand dollars and we'll get eleven thousand eight hundred and eighty five dollars so we'll subtract this from the trade payables and this will be due for the next month um, and along with the other trade payables we will add this up there so we'll take this 27,100 from there we subtract 11,885 dollars we will get the trade payables for the month of jan as 15,215 dollars so these are the adjustments which are required so now the adjusted cash budget for the month of january will be our sales will be as it is that is 56,000 dollars the cash purchases will be 13,585 dollars the trade payable will change and it will be $15,215 based on our adjustments. And then we have operating expenses as $24,200, loan repayments which will be same as $8,000. The total payments will be now $61,000 and our net payments will be now 
from $56,000, if we subtract $61,000, it will be $5,000. And the balance which is brought forward will be $3,000. And the balance which will be carried forward will be $2,000 as overdraft. And we are in accordance with the company policy. In the month of Feb, we have in receipts the cash sales which are $59,500. In payments, we have the cash purchases which are $14,725 which we calculated in our working notes. Then in trade payables, the trade payables which was due was $11,885 plus the purchases of January. In January, half of the purchases was done on cash basis. The remaining half that is $28,600 divided by 2 will be paid as trade payable in the month of Feb. So we will add this 14,300 plus 11,885 which will be our total trade payables and that will be 26,185 which I have mentioned here. Then we have the operating expenses as $25,100 and the capital expenditure of $4,800. So when we total all the payments we get the total payment as $70,810. Our receipts are $59,500. Our payments are $70,810. So the difference is our net payments which are $11,310. The bank balance which was the overdraft which we have bought forward from the month of Jan was $2,000. So the bank balance which we will carry forward based on this information will be $13,310. And we know that this is against the company policy. Hence, we have to do the adjustments so that our bank balance, that is which we carry forward, should be an overdraft of 2000 and it should not exceed the amount of 2000. So, to adjust this, we already have a bank overdraft of $2000. So, we can't have any net payments. So, this value should be 0. So, this should be 11,280 should be again subtracted from the trade payables. So, 26,155 minus 11,280 will get the value as $14,875. And this will be again pending that is 11,280 will be paid later on. So, now when we adjust this, this becomes 0 and as this becomes 0, what happens is our bank overdraft will be 2,000. So, we are going to do this adjustments. So after adjustment for Feb, we will have cash sales as $59,500. In payments, we have cash purchases as $14,725. The trade payables are now adjusted to $14,875. The operating expenses are $25,100. The loan repayments, we don't have any in the month of February. Then we have the capital expenditure, which is $4,800. When we total up all the payments, we get the total as $59,500. Our receipts are $59,500. Our total payments are $59,500. So our net receipts and payments will now be zero. And we will have the balance which we have bought forward from January as $2,000 bank overdraft. And we will have the closing balance for the month of February as $2,000 as our bank overdraft. So, we are in accordance to our company policy. Next, for the month of March, we have cash sales as $61,200. Then in payments, we have the cash purchases which we have calculated as $15,675. And for trade payables, the remaining was $11,310 plus half of the purchases for Feb was made on cash basis and the remaining half have to be paid in the month of March. So it will be $31,000 divided by 2 which will be $15,500. So our total trade payable will be $11,310 plus $15,500. So the amount will be $26,810 which I have mentioned here. And then we have the operating expenses as $26,100. Then we don't have any loan repayments. We have capital expenditure $7,600. When we total up all our payments, we get the total as $76,185. We have the total receipts of $61,200. And we have the total payments of $76,185. So when we subtract this from $61,200, 
we subtract seventy six thousand one hundred eighty five dollars. We get the net payment as fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars, which is due, which have to be paid. And we have a bank overdraft from the month of Feb, which we have brought forward as two thousand dollars. And based on this, our balance carried forward as overdraft will be sixteen thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars because both have to be paid. So based on this. We have a bank overdraft of sixteen thousand nine hundred eighty-five dollars. Again, this is against our company policy because our company policy states that our bank overdraft cannot exceed two thousand dollars. So for this, what we have to do? We have to make this net payment zero. So to make this net payment zero, we have to reduce this from trade payables. So we'll take twenty-six thousand eight hundred ten dollars, and then we will reduce the Trade payables by fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty-five dollars, which will be due for the next period. So now our trade payable will be eleven thousand eight hundred twenty-five dollars if we make the adjustments. So the adjusted cash budget for March will be our receipts. We have cash sales, which is same as sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars. Then in payments, we have the cash purchases as fifteen thousand six hundred seventy-five dollars. The trade payables are now adjusted to eleven thousand eight hundred and twenty-five dollars. Our operating expenses remain same as twenty-six thousand one hundred dollars. Our capital expenditure remains same as seven thousand six hundred dollars. So when we total up all this, that is fifteen thousand six seventy-five plus eleven thousand eight twenty-five plus twenty-six thousand one hundred plus seven thousand six hundred, we will get the total payments as sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars. We have the total receipts as sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars. Our total payments, if we subtract sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars from sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars, our net receipts and payments will now be zero. And as this is zero, we have brought forward a bank overdraft of two thousand dollars. So when we total this up, we will carry forward the bank overdraft as two thousand dollars, which is in accordance to our company policy. Now for the month of April we have receipts in which we have cash sales as fifty nine thousand two hundred dollars. In payments we have cash purchases which we have calculated as sixteen thousand one hundred fifty dollars in our working notes. Then we have the trade payables. The due amount which we brought forward was fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars plus half of the purchases of March was cash purchases and the remaining half that is thirty three thousand. Divided by two have to be paid in the month of April. So our total trade payables will be fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty-five plus sixteen thousand five hundred, which will be thirty-one thousand four eighty-five dollars. We have the operating expenses of twenty-five thousand nine hundred dollars. So when we total this up, we will have the total payment as seventy-three thousand five hundred thirty-five dollars. We have total receipts of fifty-nine thousand two hundred dollars. From there, if we subtract seventy-three thousand five hundred thirty-five dollars, we will have net payment as fourteen thousand three hundred thirty-five dollars. We have a bank overdraft which we have brought forward as two thousand dollars. So when we add this two, we get a bank overdraft which we will carry forward as sixteen thousand three hundred fifty three hundred thirty-five dollars. However, this is not in accordance to our company policy. We can have a overdraft of only two thousand dollars. So for that, we have to make the net payments zero. To make this net payment zero, we have to subtract again the net payments from the trade payables, and this will be paid later on. So from thirty-one thousand four eighty-five, we subtract fourteen thousand three hundred thirty-five dollars. We get the trade payable as seventeen thousand one fifty dollars. So when we make this adjustment. Our net payments will become zero, and our balance of bank overdraft, which we will carry forward, will be two thousand dollars, and that will be in accordance to our company policy. So let's make this adjustment. So now our cash budget for the month of April will be receipts in which we have sales as fifty nine thousand two hundred dollars, and this will be our total receipts. Then in payments we have the cash purchases as sixteen thousand one fifty dollars. The trade payable are adjusted to seventeen thousand one fifty dollars. The operating expenses is twenty five thousand nine hundred dollars. So these is our 
total or the sum of this will be our total payments which will be $59,200. The receipts and the payments are same that is both are $59,200. So now we will not have any net receipts or net payments so here we will have zero and we have a balance which we have bought forward for overdraft as $2,000 and we will carry this forward as 2000 overdraft so we have followed the company policy and with this we have completed this bit in the c bit of the question we are asked to advise the directors whether or not they should accept the suggestion to make half of the purchases in cash we have to justify our answer when they make half of the purchases on cash basis they are getting a five percent discount and this will increase the profit apart from that the suppliers from whom they are purchasing on cash basis they may uh, have an improved relationship with them because they are immediately paying the cash for the supplies so this may lead to a good relationship between the supplier and the business however we have seen that from the beginning on that is from the month of jan until the end of april still we were carrying forward the overdraft at a maximum limit of two thousand dollars and as this short term loans they come at a short notice but we have to pay a higher amount of interest for this and as the overdraft have been pending from the month of jan till april so this may lead to increase interest and this will reduce the profit apart from that this may also require a renegotiation of the overdraft limit with the bankers and the bankers may agree or may not agree with them and this may lead to again a problem with the bankers and the business apart from that here we have seen that when we did the calculations, uh, we have seen the trade payables was pending from the month of Jan till the month of uh, April. It was keep, uh, they keep on delaying the payments of the trade payable and this may lead to a conflict between the credit suppliers as well as uh, and the business because th the credit suppliers may have a long term overdue of the payment and as the trade payable have been delayed for a long time, they may even demand for uh, interest and this will also reduce the profit and this may lead to deterioration of the relationship between the credit suppliers and the business so to overcome this if they have any source of finance to pay the due which was on the jan first that is twenty seven thousand one hundred dollars if so, they have a source of finance to pay this then uh, the suggestion would have worked but as there was no source of finance available and there was a balance which was on january first which they have to pay that was 27,100 this is the uh, reason they may not be able to fulfill the suggestion or accept the suggestion which was given by the director and we have seen this uh, cash budget only for a short period of time that is from Jan till uh, April maybe in long term this may be beneficial but as we have seen there are more drawbacks compared to the benefits of accepting the advice of the director that is to purchase half of uh, the purchases in cash basis may lead to more conflicts or more problems than benefits hence i suggest that this advice of the director should not be accepted with this we have completed this question thanks for watching my videos have a peaceful and blessed life